Last week we had the pleasure of heading up to Base Arcade for their opening weekend. Now this is a pop-up retro experience as they describe that's in the heart of Belfast at the moment. So the idea is they've uh, rented out a space that they can display all of the arcade machines that they have. Now it's a ticketed event which was good because the space was uh, a little bit small there were a load of games and a load of people so being able to limit the amount of people in there was a really good idea it meant that people could gain access to the machines as they were all free play um, quite quickly you weren't waiting for for too long and there was a, a number of different uh, games that you could play there were classic 80s retro ones there was 90s ones there was driving there was shooting as you saw there was pinball and it was all free play. It was fantastic to see and something that I've really missed over the, the years. Being able to sit down with people, have a game, have a chat. The way they had everything set up was very, very good. It, the, the whole space flowed really well. And we were able to get a chat with one of the guys who was running the, uh, the experience, a guy called Stephen. He did say that they had other machines that they have in storage so the idea is that they're going to be doing this uh, once a month going forward uh, they're going to do it again in July and then in August so they're going to rotate the games out they also had uh, different consoles that they, they had there so a ZX Spectrum a Jaguar an old um, Mega Drive around the corner things like that and they did have a bar as well so absolutely great for anyone who wants to, to have a look now they do do uh, kid friendly sessions as well so if you do want to take your, your little one they do that uh, as well like I say July will be the the, the next one that they'll um, they'll put on so sign up to their newsletter and you'll find out when the tickets are going on sale and you'll be able to to head up I really enjoyed going up there and talking to um, the, the Stephen like I said they're going to rotate the games list uh, the games that they have out on the floor so that they're able to keep things fresh for people that are coming back they've also got great plans for the future the idea will be that they're going to run another session in July one in August and then they are hoping that by September they will have a permanent place all set up somewhere in uh, the centre of Belfast. So this is going to become a permanent place that people can go to. I've always said that I missed the arcade experience and this was a great reintroduction to it or for people who have never maybe been to uh, an arcade ones that you know maybe weren't around in the the 80s and 90s this is something this is something that I've craved for a long time a proper arcade where you can go share your experiences with like-minded people people that also share the passion for video games or arcades able to sit down have a chat with people you don't know because they're very like-minded the, the the social aspects of the arcade are fantastic a lot of people see gamers as very antisocial creatures but put us into a, a, a situation like this into a, a, an arcade where we're surrounded by essentially people that share the passion and you do get talking so the arcade is a great experience for that i really do miss it and this was a fantastic way to, to sort of bring it back I am hoping to get up again in July, although I think I'm going to go to the earlier session to bring um, my son. I think he would really, really enjoy this. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to go to the earlier uh, kid-friendly session and, and see what he what he thinks of that. I'm dead excited to see what they do with regards to their permanent space, where they're going to get it. Um, you know, is it still going to be licensed? I don't know. These are all things we're going to have to um, have to wait and see. But if you are wanting to head up and experience this, if you like what you see at the moment, then yes, go on to their their social media, onto their, their their website, sign up for their newsletter. You'll find out when the tickets are going to go on sale. Again, it's going to be. Uh, priority sale for the people who are signed up to the newsletter so please do that first and then they'll go on for general sale to to everyone else but yeah there you go um 
thanks very much for joining me today and yes if you like what you see maybe we'll see you up there in july and august thanks very much for joining me guys i will see you again very soon bye for now